Today I want to look at GBP card and tell you why I think this pair will sell. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Esther Moffrey. So when you open GBP card on your 4 hour, you can see it's clear, it's clear a downtrend. It's a clear downtrend. But let's look at daily so that we can do quick, quick, quick analysis guys and how I came to to give the signal on the Facebook page. I've already told people to sell. You can see from the screenshot, I have a Facebook page where I give signals. I have a Telegram page where I give signals. So with the links down below, you can join my Facebook page because I'll be giving insights on the market. And also I'll be going live from Monday to Friday on my Facebook page at 8 p.m. every night let me say every night 8 p.m i'll be going live on my facebook page so if you have not uh joined my facebook page if you have not liked if you are not following you're missing out so tonight we'll be discussing what really happened and uh the results maybe of this pair but i want to include all of you who watch me on youtube to jump in gbp card and sell this pair now, let me show you why I think it will sell. So from daily perspective, this is my daily chart. We can see that the market has been trending down. So if anyone says GBP card is a buy, they'll be lying. The GBP card is selling. So we can see that we had accumulation here. I told you the easiest trade, the easiest setup for a beginner is when they spot accumulation in the market. When you spot accumulation in the market, it is very, very easy to trade. It's very, very easy to trade. So there was accumulation. The market was accumulating at this point. It was not able to break the resistance nor break at support. You see, there was the market was not able, but eventually it broke. You can see here, we broke this support and then the market kept going down. So... In this case, okay, you see it broke support here, but again consolidated. So what I did, I just pushed my, my box like that. So from daily perspective, we are on downtrend. If I put all my moving average, moving average, they are there just to tell you what is happening in the market. So this is 200 EMA. The gold one is 200 EMA. The black one is 50 EMA. The red one is 20 ME. When all the moving average are above the price, it means that this price is going, it's on a sell side. So moving average check, they are supporting us. The market is trending below. Breaking support. So this we can call it, it has broken support. So the market has broke that support and, and we can see the support has been broken. And now what was happening yesterday I'm thinking this might be a retest. You see this green candle? This is a retest. Guys, these are a good retest. So when you flip to 4 hour, what do you see? This is what you see. On 4 hour, again, all, all the moving averages are below, are above the price, meaning that the sell is in control. We could see the market now trying to, the market trying to come back. You see here, we broke, see guys here, after we broke the box, there was the retest and this was a very, very good trade. Very accurate trade because after retest, it just dropped. Now the market has come back, maybe to do the, uh, you know, there are those trades that they do second retrace. And then this is where I spotted that the market may be coming down. So in for a, meme, for a moment, I thought, I'll get an entry around here. I thought I'll get a, an entry. Let me tell you. Let me show you. I thought this is where I'll get an entry. With this red candle. I thought maybe it's the end of retest. Because I thought the market was trying to retest. The 20 EME. So having that the market. This is our new support. Our low. So you mark this as low. Mark that as low. So I knew because the market has created a low, it has to go and retrace and then we enter. So all I was waiting is for 
if the market starts coming down, I wait for the red candle. Do WBB or here. So I was waiting. I was really waiting to do WBB so that I can enter. Because whenever the market retreats, when the market retreats, it's only you do. You can do two things. You can do WBB or if this red candle would have engulfed. If the red candle would have engulfed the green one. Let's say the red candle came all down. Like it printed like that, we could have entered sale. But because it didn't, we put WBB. And guess what? Nothing happened. Buyer still pushed on. And I was like, okay. So what is happening? So around this place, uh, around this place, you can see very well. So the box we delete. Uh, there was no WBB. So the market kept going up. So at the moment, I, I had a block. There was a block here. You can see this green candle, the last green candle so that the market breaks this big zone uh maybe i change the color here to black you see this green candle is our block so i had already marked this block already and you can see from the retest it is retested our moving average and the block now i, I was like maybe it wants to retest the block and 50 ma because moving averages are there to help you and to tell a story of the market so i waited so and then again you can see it is testing the block that is check it is testing moving average 50 that is another check again we can have double bottom a uh, double top we might have a double top so in mind i was like maybe this one is a double top so that the market can still go down so having a double top here you can see this is the first top second top having the market come back to the order block having the market rejected by 50 ma there are so many confirmations so what was i waiting first i was waiting for red candle i could not enter with the green candle i wait for the red candle to appear and the red candle one number one either it engulf this green candle the momentum candle but the green, the red candle didn't engulf so for the red candle because it didn't engulf let me make this yellow because the red candle didn't engulf what did i do i pick wbb around that candle so all i was doing i was waiting for wbb so i went to sleep i said if it give me wbb wbb guys means wait box break I will enter this trade now guess what has happened the market has broken our box and that's why i have given sale not only has broken the box it is under 20 ema you know there's a way the market would have broken the box but the candle is uh, above it is below 20 ema supporting sale so at this moment as the making of this video we have already gotten in we have go we have we are already on this trade so my target where am i targeting i'm targeting uh below that the end of this candle you see this momentum candle this is where i'm targeting because if i flip one hour i want to see if i have an order block if i go to one hour it's good to see if you have an, od an order block so we can see here we have an order block we have here an order block so the 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 center of that the center of that order block is where our tp is the center of that order block is where our tp is because again we know the market can really come all the way to this low but we want to not uh, stretch the trade so there we have an order block you can target 55.73 as our take profit is 56.65 so this is the trade guys that we have already entered so we entered immediately we got that uh, for the stop loss it's above this high above that high so that is our trade guys hope it will go well and i hope you will trick this is a live trade many people ask me oh uh, how do you do live trade this is a live trade uh, and I've shown you even before it happens because every time we enter the trade, if everything checks out, nothing to fear. If the trades continue going up, that's a structure getting destroyed and there is nothing we can do. What we can do is have patience, check everything that is working well. And then after that, 
you place the trade and you forget. So our take profit is around 55, 55, 65. That's our take profit. So what will happen tomorrow? I think I'll do the recap of this trade. If at all, <laughs> the results of this video because already it's there live uh, with you. So sell GBP card and let's target this 100 pips. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Bye-bye.